Flyers hosting the Knights, and the Knights are minus 162 on the money line. The Flyers are plus 134. The over-under is at five and a half goals. The Knights, laying a goal and a half on the puck line, are plus 152, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two goals or more, while the Flyers getting a goal and a half on the puck line are minus 184, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win. They lose by one goal, you win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to puck drop tomorrow. Thank you for everyone who has joined my Discord and who continues to join it. If you've not done so yet, go to my website, rawsportstalk.com. Click on the membership tab. It is a paid membership. It will give you access to my best bets. And my stats, college basketball and football, will be in there exclusively. It's supposed to be Hill versus Hart, but neither of the goalies have been confirmed. Head-to-head, -head, the home team is 5-5. Five and five. The Knights are on a three-game winning streak. The Knights are 6-4. and four. The favorite's on a three-game winning streak. The favorite is 5-5 five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a goal and a half on the puck line is 9-1. and one. There have been seven one-goal games in their last 10 meetings, including the last game they played against each other, which was this year. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under 5.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. They played earlier this year in Vegas, and the Knights won that game 3-2. The under is 10-7 and seven in the Knights games this year, and the under is 10-5 and five in the Flyers games this year. And the Flyers are one of the best teams at blocking shots, which is uh, a fun fact to know. The Knights are 2-2 two and two in their last four. The under is 4-1 and one in their last five. They scored one goal in a loss, five goals in a win, shut out in a loss, and then six goals in a win. They came back and beat the Canadians in that last game. For the Flyers, they're on a three-game winning streak. They are 3-1 and one in their last four. The under is 3-1 and one in their last four games. One goal in a loss, six goals in a win, four goals in a win, three goals in a win. I do think the Knights are a better team, but the Flyers... We'll probably keep this game close, especially with them being home. I'll take the Knights with the money line. I'll take the Flyers getting the goals, and I'll go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.